Hi friends, this is Dipti and welcome to my channel Life Admin 365 and welcome to today's video. Today's video is part two of my pantry organization video in the kitchen organization series. Uh, in the previous video, I had shared how I organized my deep cabinet style pantry. And today I'm going to handle shelf that's right behind me, which is under the stairs. And I call it my under stairs shelf pantry. Uh, it's not just a pantry, it houses a bunch of other things in it as well, where, you know, I mostly come and dump in there. So this is one of those places that are not as much organized as I want it to be. Uh, the food corner is pretty good organized, but the other stuff is mostly just dumped in. I think it's organized. It's just an organized chaos, an organized mess. Because in the end, I always end up finding whatever I want. It's just that it's not pretty to look at. <laughs> or it's not as easy for everyone else to find it. Another issue that I'm going to address for this space is its lighting. This place is not properly lighted. As of now, I don't know how I'm going to light it. But I'm going to figure out a way that I can get some lighting in here. Maybe I'll use the press on button lights or the puck light. I haven't decided yet, but I am definitely going to light this area. This is going to be a little bit of an overhaul, but I'm not going out and buying, you know, fancy stuff or anything unless and until I really need it. At this point, I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, but if I see a need for it, I may just go and buy a few baskets or bins or the likes here. And this is the one time that I'm going to uh, get this place completely empty yeah. you know usually i'm not the person who gets everything out because it overwhelms me but in this case i'm going to do that i'm going to move the food products to my dining room which is on my right hand side and on my left i am going to get all the household supplies i've timed myself and i'm going to get about 15 minutes of work done in this time i'll just keep on doing the process until i get everything out that's how i'm going to proceed so i'm just going to use my 15 minute timer strategy that is one of my best productivity tool that i have on hand and i have always used it so whenever i have a little bit of time i get small things done Done. so that's what i'm going to do with that said i'm going to start moving all the things out from here and i will see you back once everything is lined up on their respective tables and here is a quick look at the closet area it's unclean right now but once it's dusted swept and mopped it will be clean slate and ready for me and my organizing ideas and then there is my dining table which is now full of food staples that I took out from the closet pantry. I also have baskets that hold bulk purchases and overflow items. These came from cleaning my cabinet style pantry. I've already shared with you all how I organized my cabinet style pantry. I'm sharing that video with you all in the card above and in the description box below. And lastly, this is my kitchen island which is piled up with household supplies, pots and pans and utensils and containers and small kitchen gadgets now is the perfect time to sort things out and keep only those things that i use regularly and free cycle the remaining anyways my 15 minutes are up and i am heading to work but i will resume with this work either tomorrow or the day after it's been two days and finally i have time to get back to sorting and organizing my closet shelf pantry i wanted to do it a couple days earlier but things didn't go as per plan but no matter it's always important that you get started and not just leave things hanging so that's what i am doing today first things first i'm moving out the shelves from the closet and wiping them clean then sweeping and mopping the space sweeping and mopping took me about 20 25 minutes this is where i'm going to stop because i have to go to work but once i come back i will continue with organizing and i'm going to tackle all the household and the kitchen appliances that are sitting on my counter hey y'all i'm back from work and i'm resuming where i left off in the morning as I was moving things out from my pantry a couple days earlier, I grouped and placed like items together and I'm so glad I did it this way. So in this area, I have additional pots and pans, containers and small kitchen gadgets and appliances. On this end, I have personal care and beauty products and accessories. And in that corner of the floor, I have household supplies like batteries, bulbs, paper goods, you know, the likes of shampoos, body washes, lotions, etc. So here is the plan. Sort each of these into two groups, one with items that stay on the shelf under the stairs closet and other with items that go in the bins to be stored in the garage. 
I'm giving myself about an hour, hour 15 minutes to get this sorted. Let's see how much I can get done. This past summer, my father-in-law and I assembled these sturdy shelves that I got from Amazon. And currently it holds all my art supplies, toilet paper, paper towel rolls, along with a few of my bigger appliances, air fryer, and then some less frequently used kitchen appliances. I don't really have a plan of how and where I'm going to place all the stuff that I bring from my kitchen. I'm just going to go with the flow. Since I'm storing stuff in garage and not inside my house, I want them protected from dust and dirt, which places like garage seem to collect in tons. For those things, I'm using clear bins with snap-on lids. I got these from Costco or Home Depot quite some time ago, a few years ago, I think, and they were almost empty and sitting in my bedroom closet. So I'm using these clear bins for storing small gadgets and appliances so that everything is corralled but easily accessible at the same time. There is a lot of arranging and rearranging going on to get the best possible placement. I have ordered stick-on clear plastic label sleeves for these bins. That way I can write on a flashcard what each bin holds and tuck them in it. I will share that part once I have the sleeves. Thank goodness I picked a relatively less cold day in winter to move all these things into the garage. It's a little bit less cold, 54 degrees Fahrenheit or about 12 degrees Celsius. And trust me guys, with all the back and forth that I've been doing between my kitchen and garage, I'm on the warmer set and for now I don't even need my pullover. Anyways, I am done here. My garage shelves look pretty organized. They will have their own deep organizing session when the weather gets warm. For now, all I can say is that I'm pretty proud of the work that I have done here. And back to my kitchen. It's about 8 p.m. and I still have few more things to move but my island is almost cleared up. I think another 30 minutes and I will be done with the kitchen island. I have group pots and pans and other routinely used kitchen items on this end of the kitchen island. These will go into the small shelf in the closet. I even have empty baskets that I can use for containing overflow packets from pantry staples. I also got some organizing done for my household items that were sitting on the floor. I don't like the way that I have organized it but for now it's good. And time to check out my pantry closet. I have placed routinely used pots and pans and meal prep containers in this small shelf. There is plenty of space on this shelf and until I have something that really needs to go in that space I'm not going to clutter it up and you will ask what about food <laughs> well I don't have time to work on sorting and organizing everything that's on this table I have these food and food products somewhat sorted but uh, I do need some time to figure out how to best organize them in the closet shelf and that work is not for today today I have gone 40 minutes over my scheduled time so for now I'm taking a break from organizing and I will resume this job maybe tomorrow or the day after all right guys it's been two weeks yes you heard right two weeks and these baskets are still on my dining table i moved half of the stuff back to the closet as i needed dining space we ate some of the snacks added some new items after doing grocery and today finally brought those baskets back again to get them organized once and for all i have a good idea how i am going to organize these so i won't be needing more than an hour to finish the work i have lined the shelves with cardboard from sturdy cereal boxes and they are serving their purpose perfectly anytime something gets messed up all i have to do is to replace them with a new cardboard box i'm using stackable shelves that i got from walmart these shelves are at least 15 years old if not more i got them when i was a graduate student somewhere in 2002 or so and they are going strong i got both of these for about 10 dollars i think at that time i used them for storing onions and potatoes and now i'm using them for holding coconut water cartons anyways Shelves are filling up rapidly with snacks and staple items. I wish I could have had a better angle to film it but the space is very tight here and there isn't room to place my recording gear. Well it's only my camera and my tripod but even then it's very hard for me to get that angle because of the small space that I'm working with. I'm storing all the staples and snacks in baskets and bins that I already had on hand. After several arranging and rearranging attempts I finally have the baskets and bins lined up the way I want them to. So let's do a quick review and let's take it from the top. Dining table clear of pantry supplies and groceries. Understairs closet pantry stocked and organized with mostly unopened snacks like tortilla chips, various types of farsan, along with our favorite snack seaweed sheets called nori that have that delicious umami taste and coconut water and vegetable broth cartons. 
my huge stash of keto cooking and baking supplies like lupin flour almond flour coconut flour various types of protein powders like whey protein and peanut butter protein sweeteners like erythritol allulose and monk fruit sweetener and jars with overflow of flaxseed chia seeds and hemp seeds and some desiccated coconut then there is the overflow of breakfast cereals like honey bunches of oats and rice crispy treats which i use for making my ooey gooey snack bars and my most favorite pancake and waffle mix by Kodiak Cakes brand. This is the best mix that I have found. Then there is this basket that holds spread like peanut butter, Nutella. I have jars of pasta sauce and condiments like oil, ketchup and vinegar. The small chef in this area holds frequently used pots and pans and meal prep containers. A huge metal mesh basket which holds overflow from bulk staples like rice, chapati atta, oats, coffee and vinegar. And lastly, tiered metal basket which holds my apron and reusable freezer and fridge friendly silicone bags and then I have potatoes and onions and garlic. The only household item in this food dominated area is the box of kitchen trash bags and currently this is the most convenient location where I can hold it. Moving on to the kitchen island which is now clear of household supplies and kitchen gadgets that were crowding it just a couple weeks earlier and now they are safely stored and stashed on the shelves in my garage. Phew! I am done. My god, this project took forever. It took more than two weeks for me to complete because I was able to dedicate only from 15 minutes to maybe a couple hours to get it done. But it did get done and I'm so proud of my accomplishment and I'm just looking at the pantry setup. It all looks so beautiful. I still have to take care of the lighting issue in the understairs pantry but I will take care of that at a later time. For now, I'm calling it a good night. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you once again. See you all in the next one.